Hello, welcome to the channel. Um, we're here to check out the new Jelly Roll song that yeah. just came out the other day. I don't think I don't think we have any of his songs on the channel. I don't think so. I've, and I, to be honest, I really only know a few songs, but how this even came to be, because we don't even normally do like a lot of rap on the channel either. Um, I was looking at... Uh, Andrew Schultz, a, a comedian that like he was a while ago, they were trying to come up with like words that rhyme with Waldorf, you know, it's like apparently I think it's like some hotel or something, but the whole song was called Bitches in the Waldorf and they're trying to come up with that. But during the whole COVID thing, he made a song with Jelly Roll. Oh, okay. And it was called that, yeah. like open it up talking about just let everybody like, you know, like open up all the businesses and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It, it's a humorous song. Like I'll show it to you. It's pretty funny. But um, then I was like, oh, shit, Jelly Roll just put out a new song. So we'll check it out. I don't know what she would be like. The thumbnail looks kind of dark, like a serious tone, maybe. Yeah. Wow. I mean, is it about his wife? Uh, is he married? I know he's with the same girl, I think. Oh, I, I know zero things yeah, I've about. I've seen some, like, TikToks and stuff like that about it. Oh, like, fair that's enough. All. So, yeah, then you are more informed uh, than I am, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, Drop your knowledge, It seems like a good relationship. Um, <laughs> fair but enough. I wasn't no, trying to, out to good relationships out jumping there. into, like, Jelly Roll shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're here to check out the, the, the song, so. Yeah, see, it's what happens. What we got. Yeah, I'm ready to check it out. Right. Yeah. Real quick, if you're not already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. And if you want to help support us, head on over to our Patreon. We post videos there every week and would love to see you there. Thank you. And let's start the video. We can hear the train a little bit in the background, but it'll be all right. Oh, Are we getting country version, Jelly Roll? Must be. Is that what he's doing a lot of lately? I don't know. I've only heard a couple things. And if you only knew her smile, you never know that she's in pain. Usually not the biggest like country fan, but nobody ever saw it. I want to give everything a chance. So. It started with a little pill. He sounds good. One thing led to another. Since then it's all been the rewind. I didn't realize it wasn't a rewind to right then. You know what this reminds me of? What? Rascal Flats? I don't know. I know a song by them. To... Like when it comes to country, the only country I really like know is like old like Garth Brooks and George Strait and uh, things like that. He does have a nice, like, gritty voice for it, though. So it does fit. A pill like suicide has got to be rough.
I did not know it was a like substance abuse thing. Um, oh, well, I think I know it, there's a lot of that going on. Like, well, it didn't seem like overly like preachy throughout the song. It seemed like a, a song that's actually like near and dear to him, and just happens to apply. So I think they. It doesn't seem like it was all like made for that. In no, a way, you know like, what I, mean? yeah, like, I think it was his maybe his feelings on it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's his song and everything. It just like you said, applied to it. Like But yeah, so I think if it's I think it's cool when like put it out there. You know, like if you can get like more awareness, you know, just the information of here's a phone number to call or a QR code to scan and people actually watch it and kind of come across it more like naturally. I mean, because yeah. if you're dealing with anything like mentally and going through something, you're not looking up like suicide prevention music videos, you know, right, like, right, 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 right. but if you came across this as somebody like that was actually his fan came across this in a dark time, it would hit a lot harder because yeah, it, sure. it's, natural and things like that and it's not preachy i think if you try it's to, not like this is the theme song or the commercial kind of thing like right or yeah. you know it's not like the whole song is like go get help you know there's somebody there you know kind of purpose built not just a story that also applies i don't know if that makes sense but makes sense to me that's all <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I think it was cool to try out something different um, for the song. Like I said, I'm normally not the biggest like country fan in general, but I'm also open to – I'm not super familiar with it either. Right. You know, like I, I get kind of like picky. Like I try to be open-minded, but I am still somewhat picky on music, you know, so I was trying to like yeah. battle that balance and – I want to branch out and give things a chance and see what I'm ignorant of. I'd rather know of stuff and then choose to not like it than have not known and have that choice made for me. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you're, like you said, almost ignorant to the fact. Like, yeah. Yeah. I get it. But yeah, I think it was cool departure. Um, check out more things. You get caught up with them. Like I said, I only know a few songs. I really like a couple of them. The other ones that didn't really stick with me weren't bad, though. So yeah. it's not like, ooh, I hated it. Right. So right, I still click on Jelly Roll stuff. Obviously, we're here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So at least like him enough to to keep following him in that matter. Yeah. Yeah. So can you think of anything else before we get out of here? No, I'm glad we checked it out. Yeah, it was cool. Thanks for watching with us. See you next time. <laughs>